As we have seen, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act directly affects your work in healthcare. One of the ways that HIPAA has changed healthcare is by reinforcing the importance of patient confidentiality. These changes were brought about by the privacy rule within Title II of HIPAA. One big focus of the HIPAA reform was protecting the privacy of a patient's health information. This came about largely because of known abuses of patient privacy. Many healthcare workers tended to talk casually about their patients without thinking about how this violated confidentiality. Conversations about patients in public areas, on the telephone, in parking lots, and even at home with friends and family all violate patient confidentiality. Even if patients' names are not used, enough information to identify patients may be revealed. The privacy rule applies to all protected health information. This includes any information written, spoken, or electronic about health status, treatments, or payment for health care that can be linked to a specific individual. The link could be the patient's name, or it could be such things as a birth date or medical record number. It is best to assume that the entire chart with all its attachments is protected. The HIPAA privacy rule directly affects the day-to-day -day job of everyone working in health care in the United States. And HIPAA requires that patients be notified of these privacy policies. While HIPAA does not say just how this must be done, most facilities have a pre-printed notice that is provided to every patient. This notice explains to patients that their health information may be transmitted to third parties for routine use in treatment decisions, insurance billing, or for other health care processes. Patients are asked to acknowledge that they have seen the privacy notice, and the patient is asked to sign a copy of the notice for the medical record. If the patient refuses to sign, they still may receive treatment. However, it is important to write on the chart copy of the privacy notice that the patient refused to sign and keep this in the permanent record. The notice also tells patients that they have the right to see their medical and billing records. In certain circumstances, the patient also has the right to learn... He Any patient who feels the provider has not been responsive to complaints can make a follow-up complaint directly to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office for Civil Rights. These complaints are investigated. HIPAA allows an exception to the rule for providing the privacy notice and getting the patient to sign it when it might prevent or delay immediate needed care, such as emergency care. HIPAA does allow disclosures of patient information in some other circumstances. For example, patient information can be given to family and friends, but only if the patient has given permission in advance. Permission should be documented in the record with a signed permission form stating what may be shared and who may be given this information. Reporting information for the benefit of public health also does not require patient permission. This includes such things as reporting vital statistics without revealing individual identities, reporting communicable diseases to the local health department and centers. Facilities have handled HIPAA privacy requirements in many different ways. Some of the changes include reducing any identifiable patient information on public display. In inpatient facilities, for example, patient names have been removed from doors. In both inpatient and outpatient care areas, the use of whiteboards listing appointments, reasons for admission, or scheduled procedures has been replaced with systems that prevent casual viewing of this information. Charts are stored out of public view, and if charts are placed in door racks, they are turned so the name faces the door. X-ray and scan light boards may have been moved out of public view or covered to prevent accidentally being seen by the public. In modern health care, the computer screen has become a major source of potential confidentiality issues. It is a good practice to blank the screen or sign off completely if leaving a terminal. In addition, terminals should be oriented so the public cannot read what is on. Telephone messages and reminders also require care. Bear in mind that any messages or appointment reminders left on an answering machine may be overheard by others. 
you should limit the amount of information given to the name of the facility or physician and the time of the appointment. If it is necessary to discuss a treatment or preparations for a procedure, leave a callback number so the patient can return the call in private. HIPAA does not override any state laws which demand even stricter privacy. For example, many states grant minors specific rights to privacy, particularly in relation to questions of sexual activity or pregnancy. These regulations must be followed. Sign-in sheets and calling a patient into the exam room by name are considered incidental uses or disclosures and are not violations of the privacy rule. Since HIPAA went into effect, the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Civil Rights has investigated alleged privacy HIPAA regulations have required a number of changes in work habits. HIPAA privacy requirements are not only federal law, they are also an important part of maintaining the trust necessary between a patient and a caregiver.